Next up, Bessie's in Murrumbina, a southeast suburb of Melbourne. Me. I was walking into a Hamptons home, but this is so beautiful and modern. Yes, um, my brother who owns his house yep. bought in Murrumbina. Yep. It's a traditional sort of suburb, so they wanted a home that blended well into the streetscape, mm -hmm. but they didn't want the Hamptons interior. They you wanted something commit, a bit more. You? If you go in, you're committing all the way through. <laughs> yes, usually with most of our customers, and this is really the first project that we've done where it's gone completely opposite, yep. but I think it really works. So Joe, we're on an average size block. How, how many square metres is it? Uh, so this house is 38 squares right. in total. Um, so it's a four bedroom home, Brilliant. double garage. So as you, as you come in, uh, we've got the garage, we've got the living room, which yeah. is currently being used as a, an office, mm -hmm. um, a study. Um, we come through to the master bedroom wing, which runs down this side. Yeah. We've got this beautiful living space here, uh, a laundry and a butler's pantry. And then upstairs we have three bedrooms. One is set up as a guest room yeah. and has direct access to the bathroom, but it's sort of a Jack and Jill where the other two bedrooms have uh, access to it. So yeah, it's quite functional. And it's got a little um, sitting area upstairs. It's great. I love the functionality of the home. Again, down here, all open, but upstairs, you've actually created some beautiful little spaces, little yeah. hallways that have made it feel, if it's going to feel Hamptonsy at all, it's in those little hallways. Yeah, really this is probably the, the hero part of the home and that's probably the part that I love the most. Because yeah. uh, as you sort of come through, the hallway sort of gives you a bit of a hug and then it opens up into this space here. Yeah. We've got access to the west here. We've got access to the pool. Uh, the kitchen is perfectly blended into this whole living space here. We've got dining uh, and a living space and then obviously it opens out onto an alfresco in the pool. So. Yeah, we have we have parties here. Yes. And yeah, you you feel connected from the kitchen right through to the pool. I love it. I think it's so beautiful and it's so important. Again, just entertaining and it is an entertainer's paradise. I love that they're gonna have a beautiful new family here as well yes. soon. And the child can just play and, and grow and it's such a great space to entertain and, and have that family connection. Yep, yeah, and it's also zoned. So like this is obviously that entertainment area, mm -hmm. but there is a living space at the front of the home. There is one upstairs. Yep. The master bedroom is downstairs here and then we've got three bedrooms upstairs. So, you know, as the family grows mm -hmm. um, and as children get older, then the home will still cater for them. You've done a beautiful job on the home. It's so gorgeous. Did Alexis do the styling? Um, I think my brother would like to take most of the, ah, the, really? um, <laughs> the cues for that, but I, I think Alexis, his hand is very much in here. She's a pretty stylish woman. Yes, she is very <laughs> stylish. Um, so yeah, they're um, very much into the monochrome, yeah. you know, blacks, greys, whites, and pretty much everywhere you look, you've got that, and then you've got the pops of um, the colour like through the, the timber here. So my wife and I were looking to build a house. Obviously my brother um, is a builder. He's been a builder for a very long time. He actually bought me my first hammer and toolbox. <laughs> um, so when I think of building a quality house, I think of my brother. Yeah, so we really loved the Hamptons exterior, but on the inside wanted to focus on a more modern approach. Um, so you'll see a lot of really clean lines, um, lots of whites in here with the color palette, grays and blacks. Um, and really embracing that monochrome approach. And the textures as well. I love what they've done with the dining table and I'm really loving the splashback. It's just a beautiful texture and amongst a really minimal home. Yeah, so the splashback is actually marble tiles, mm -hmm. um, which ties in with the, the Caesar stone bench top here, which has that marble pattern going through it. Yeah. And we also have marble then, um, actual marble over the fireplace um, where we've done the whole wall and the, the mantle. 
yep. uh, under the TV in the, um, the marble as well. So Joe, the design of this home is actually two previous designs that you've kind of morphed together. Yes. Now have you done that for Adrian, your brother, or is that something you can do for a client? Uh, we, we're full custom builders, so whether it's working off a standard plan, putting two plans together or designing something from scratch, yep. it's something that we do all the time. It's once we get an understanding of what the customer wants, yes. um, yeah, we go through our catalogue of previous jobs or designs or we design from scratch. That's brilliant. You've created such a beautiful home. I just love the entertainer's paradise. Really, I'm not sure if it's that I'm just missing Europe. <laughs> or if it's the home itself, but it's bringing all the memories and it's really kicking me into festive season. <laughs> yeah, it sort of does feel like we're on holidays here today. Yeah, uh, we've great. got a pool, we've got a fire going out the side here. It's, yeah, it's a beautiful place. So yeah, That's they're awesome. very lucky. I wish them the world of luck and just well done again. Thank you very much. Good to see you again. Yeah.